Question of the week time. This week's question comes from Kaido Nolan. She wants to know what the minimum requirements are for duoing, trioing, quadding the Gen 4 raid bosses. I guess she's sick of doing all these trios and she wants to up it up and start doing some duos. So which Gen 4 Pokemon are duoable as far as legendaries go? Well, I think I have a simple solution for you guys and her, I guess. All right, so two things you need to know before I dive into this MS Paint drawing here. Number one, we do know the stats of all the Gen 4 Pokemon. In fact, we know all the stats of all Pokemon in the game that could ever be entered into Pokemon Go. The reason for this is because the stats of the Pokemon in Go are translated from their stats in the main series games. We know what the formula is, so we know what stats we're getting. Why the fuck? We know what the stats are in the main series games, so we know what the stats are going to be in Pokemon Go. Another thing you should know is that the minimum requirements for the amount of trainers you have to defeat a raid boss is based on the Pokemon's defense stat more than anything else. All tier 5 raid bosses have the same HP stat, 12,500, uh, so the amount of DPS that you can deal to the raid boss is dependent on the Pokemon you're using and its level and the weather and your friendship, all that nonsense, and the defense of the raid boss. It's for that reason that it takes more trainers to defeat the Regis, because down here you can see Reggie Rock has 356 defense, so that's huge. And then you've got really easy guys like Latios, which is duoed by Rayquaza, with 228 defense. So basing off of that, we can get a really accurate idea as to how many trainers and what Pokemon you might need to get duos, trios, and quads in on the Gen 4 raid bosses. Legendary Pokemon, Tier 5. I'm only trying to do one take, so put up with it. Now you might be thinking moveset could influence this if they get donked really hard, really fast, like a situation like Focus Blast against Tyranitar with Mewtwo, or Shadow Ball against Gengar with Mewtwo. That could influence things because relobbying does cause a massive decrease in your DPS, which lowers your potential to do a low party clear. We don't know what these movesets are going to be, so this is an accurate, not a precise look at how to do these. Like when we get Game Master information on them, then I can go full ham. But if I'm going full ham, then I'm honing in on each specific Pokemon, not this general accurate overview. Here, this first column, I decided to just sort out all the Psychic type Pokemon. Mewtwo has a 182 defense stat. It's an easy trio with Tyranitar, and it is doable with a weather-boosted Gengar. I don't think anybody's done that yet. Actually, my mistake, I think somebody did post it. Actually, I remember the tweet. It, it did happen. So, yeah, doable, doable with a weather-boosted Gengar, which means this diminutive 151 defense stat Azelf is probably going to get dunked on hard, by Gengar in general, the Shadow Claw one. Now I didn't run any simulations on it, this is just a rough, you know, accurate guesstimate uh, based off of the defense stats and what Pokemon do what to similar Pokemon, Mewtwo in this case. So I think it's fairly reasonable to expect Azelf to be duoed uh, by not weather boosted Gengar. Could even potentially be duoed by Tyranitars. I don't want to go that far because Mewtwo is trioed by Tyranitars. I don't think 30 defense. I mean, it's the kind of thing that matters if it matters. I didn't run Sims on it, so I don't know. So uh, look alive if you have Shadow Claw Gengars and really good friends, because Azelf is is waiting. Now going down the line, we have uh, Mesprit and uh, Cresselia, and Cresselia is very similar in defenses to Latias, 268, 263. And Latias is a possible trio with Tyranitar. It is unlikely, or you have to employ some dodging. Uh, I did not do Tyranitar with the Weather Boost, so a Weather Boosted Tyranitar would very likely be able to trio this. I'm not sure if there are trios in existence that use purely Tyranitars or Tyranitars and Gengars. I haven't investigated, uh, but just surface level simulations suggest that it is nearly possible with these Tyranitars. Uh, this suggests that Cresselia might get trioed by Tyranitar. If you bring a Weather Boost in on it, then it's probably slam dunked. If you're bringing in some Gengars with Shadow Ball, 
then it is very likely that Cresselia will get trioed. I do not believe that Cresselia will get duoed, and in that respect, I don't believe that Uxie or Yuxi, I have never tried to pronounce this Pokemon's name until recently, right? Uh, this guy probably will not get duoed. You're probably looking at a hard trio, maybe a quad here. If you're wondering if Mesprit can be duoed, I doubt it. Probably a good trio here, though. Probably a solid trio on Mesprit. Now we got this side, which is focusing on the Dragon-type Pokemon, aka Pokemon that are weak to Rayquaza, because Dialga over here is not weak to Rayquaza, it is neutral damage, so. So he gets over in that bin. This bin, weak to Rayquaza. So leading the charge, 228 defense, pretty low, that's Latios, and it is duoed by Ray. It's a pretty easy duo, so... Right, so then you got the origin form of Giratina, which has 206 defense. I think we can assume that this guy's going to get duoed. Uh, when you got the 247 defense, well, that's getting a little bit more awkward, right? You got to come down here and base it off of the Latias, if you're eyeballing. And it is almost able to be duoed by a boosted ray. Uh, but it is not duoed by a boosted ray, um, unless I'm mistaken. I'm pretty sure it's very close, but not quite there. In that respect, a Weather Boosted Ray has the potential to duo Palkia and duo a altered form, not origin form, the one that's like got six legs and it's not not this one. This one's the uh, origin form, so yeah, it's altered form. Yeah, altered form Giratina. Uh, very, it's possible that it can be duoed, but depending on where the breakpoints fall and all that stuff, it might not happen. Kind of interested to see what actually happens. See, Ray duos Latios, Ray doesn't duo Latias, uh, 60, 20, 40's in between, ah, uh, man, yeah, I don't feel like running any sims on this predictive stuff, though, so wait for the game master, and then I'll let you know for sure, get, get hype. Now we got the final column here, and these are Pokemon that are weak to Machamp. We got Fighting, Normal, and Steel type, and, and this Rock guy, right? And I discluded Regice because it's the same defense stat as Red Rock, so uh, I didn't forget about it. I purposely left it out just to keep things simple. So yeah, weak to Machamp. They have other weaknesses, but come on, man, it's Machamp. It's, it's hawking on them. The two Regis down here have the thickest defenses, and both of these Pokemon are trioed by Machamp. Machamp trios them. So everything else on here should be trioed by Machamp. Now Regigigas, I did run Sims on it because it's a Reggie. It's gonna have Rock Smash and Focus Blast almost for sure. All the Reggies have Rock Smash and Focus Blast, so why would Regigigas be any different? So I decided to take a liberty and uh, run a simulation on it, and it is not duoed by a weather boosted Machamp. The duo does not happen. I mean, clearly the trio get dunked on Regigigas and your diminutive defenses, uh, but the duo did not happen. And because I already ran a sim on this guy, I decided to take my curiosity even further with Heatran. I know, like, I'm like, yeah, I'll run sims on these guys, but, but forget these dragons and psychic types. I'm so inconsistent with uh, what I decided to waste my time on. And what I found with Heatran is simulating it with Fire Spin and Overheat, just to emphasize, I don't know what the movesets are gonna be, I was just running them for fun. Uh, doing it with Fire Spin and Overheat, Machamp with the Weather Boost was not able to duo. However, when I changed Overheat to Heat Wave, which is an extremely weak fire type charge move, the duo was achieved. Uh, fairly consistently, it was a 86% success rate with weather boosted Machamps to duo Heatran, you know, with the Machamps. So this suggests that if the moveset is lighter, not super heavy, like Overheat, then the weather boosted duo could happen with Machamp. And if it is a heavier moveset, then it might be a bit harder because you'll faint out much easier and then you have the relobbying and all that jazz. Uh, one thing that's important to note about Heatran though, all this Machamp stuff aside, it is a steel fire type, and therefore it is doubly weak to Groudon. That is a double weakness to Groudon. Easy weather boosted, ultra powerful Pokemon. I think we have a duo here, folks. I think this is a very easy and assured duo with Groudon. Now, don't go and power up a whole bunch of Groudons expecting to duo Heatran. It's not Gen 4 yet. We don't know when we're gonna get Heatran. 
and Rhyperior has the chance to power creep on Groudon. And then Groudon also has the chance to power creep itself with Precipice Blades, and current Groudons might not be able to get them. At the end of the day, you're better off saving your resources for the future and then powering up your Pokemon when we get to the battle that they're good for, right? So hold out, uh, just uh, get yourself mentally prepared to just wreck Heatran because it's going down for real. Uh, and then finally, we have Darkrai. And Darkrai's got way lower defenses than the Regigigas, uh, much lower defenses than the Heatran. Heatran is borderline duoed by weather boosted Machamps, so I think it's safe to say that Darkrai, a dark type Pokemon using dark type attacks which Machamp resists, will have a fairly easy time duoing Darkrai with the weather boost. Machamp, your days have not ended. I mean, holy geez, we're looking at the next generation, and here is one, two, three, four, four, <laughs> four new Pokemon that are weak to Machamp. Get dunked on. Man, Machamp's so good. So that's it for my question of the week content. If you have any questions on this video, comment below, let me know and I'll help you out. And if you have any questions in general, comment below, you might inspire the next question of the week video. I'm sorry I stopped doing question of the week for two weeks. I, I meant to make a video and have it be question of the week, but I forgot to mention that it was question of the week and then the next week I just straight up didn't do it. And there might be another week where I didn't do it, so. But question of the week, we're back in action, back on the saddle, answering your questions. So if you like this content, you want to see more like it, or maybe you want to see the precise Gen 4 Legendary Raids once we get that Game Master, then subscribe to Swag Tips. I'm out of here. Swag Tips. Almost forgot to mention, tomorrow night, Thursday the 23rd, that is going to be the last regular scheduled live stream I do for Swag Tips on Thursdays. Starting next week, the 28th, on Tuesdays, that is the new regular live stream date for Swag Tips. Blame the school schedule. Also starting the 28th is when I will have my video editor editing my videos. If you want to support me being able to afford a video editor, check out my Patreon. If you're confused about all this, I have a video where I go in full detail on what's going on. Uh, link in the description to that.